Here we have a fairly standard adding machine with some remarkable early 1970s styling. Orange and brown was very popular back then. It's Smith Corona, or rather Smith Corona Marchant, SCM. Uh, Smith Corona used to make mostly uh, typewriters and they merged with Marchant who made uh, calculators. This is the model 1011CB. Uh, that was another thing that became very popular, weird number letter names. And uh, it's a normal adding machine. You can uh, type a number. In this window it indicates how many digits you've entered. You can enter up to 10 digits. The register itself has 11 digits. I assume that's what this number means, 10, 11, 10 digits, input, 11 digits in the register. So you enter a number and press plus to add it to the internal register. And it prints it out. And after adding a few numbers you can ask for the subtotal by pressing S. And that prints the current subtotal with an S at the end. So, and you can continue to add further numbers. And then when you press the T for total, it prints the total and clears that internal register. And when it prints that total, it adds a T at the end to show it is a total. When you've entered something you can press the C to clear it, and that does nothing to the register or the total. It doesn't print anything either. The N button is uh, non-add, so that just prints whatever number you've uh, entered without adding that to the total. Uh, so if I add something and print the total, you can see that this uh, number with the N after it has done nothing. That's used for order numbers or customer numbers and things like that. Uh, the machine handles negative numbers as well because it can subtract. If I subtract something it prints it in red with a minus sign after it. And if I print the total it prints that in red as well, but just with a T at the end, not with a minus sign. So uh, if you can't see the color, you don't know whether it's positive or negative. Uh, and by the way, there's a small indicator here that turns red when the uh, register is negative, or was negative. At the moment it's gone to zero because I've printed the total, but that flag is still there, so it's essentially minus zero. Nevertheless, if you just add something to it now, it uh, disappears again, this uh, indicator. Uh, this R button is for repeat, so you can do repeated additions. And you can hold down the button. So I've added this same number uh, five times now. I can append another zero if I like, essentially shifting the number to the left or multiplying it by ten and adding that a few times. And ah, at the moment I can't press the total or subtotal buttons. I have to clear the register first. So because it, the, I mean the input first because the input still has this number and it's still on repeat. I have to clear that. Only then can I press the total. So here I have multiplied 123 by uh, 25. 
So that explains all the buttons on the, uh, on the machine. With this you can move the paper, and that's it. This machine was uh, made in Japan. Unfortunately, on the bottom it no longer has the, uh, the label here that, uh, that should, ha should have had its uh, uh, serial number and say uh, that it was made in Japan by Aiko Business Machine Company. Um, they also uh, made versions of this in blue, and those were imported by uh, not by Smith Corona but by Bone. So the Bone Admatic E2071 is exactly the same machine as this, but in blue. Uh, I already removed the two screws at the front here, so I can lift off the top and show you what it looks inside. There's quite a lot of, lot of space around here for the uh, styling, so it's, it's a relatively small mechanism, a small machine. The most interesting part of this really is this printing mechanism. It has these uh, round uh, printing heads. Most of the machines up to this time had uh, vertical rods with all the uh, numbers on. So when you uh, add it, these turn to the right number and the paper is then pushed against it. Back here is the uh, small electric motor and transformer, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a relatively uh, compact, simple machine. The paper is simply loose in here behind this uh, this window and uh, yeah it's just a loose loose roll of paper there's no no spindle to put it on which is makes it quite easy to refill oh. there we go so that was the uh, Smith Corona Marchant 1011 CB adding machine Thank you for watching.